What's going on guys? Big Turkey on Weed here, bringing you another video today. We're going to talk about defense and the ability of edge threat. Um, edge threat has frustrated a lot of people this year uh, because it doesn't quite engage the way that it did last year. But the best I've found is, um, and it pretty much is engaged every time for me uh, out of certain fronts and certain blitzes. But um, I'm going to show you what not to do when you do have edge threat and you're looking for it to engage. So. We're in the Dallas Cowboys, and we have Demarcus Lawrence, who has edge threat on him. So I like the four-man front. I get the most results with edge threat from the four-man front. So we're going to pick nickel normal here, and we can pick any play. This isn't really about the coverage behind. You can do any coverage you want, but how you're going to set your front up to attack the other team and get edge threat to work. So we're going to just come out in a, in a, in a shotgun form. I don't want to have, uh, I just want to show what it, what it is versus a, a standard blocker. Because it's really not, this isn't a blitz, this isn't anything, you know. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my defense down. I'm not going to uh, rush from behind. I'm not going to do any of those things. But you see how Demarcus Lawrence has a, uh, almost a contained type of rush. We don't want that. We want to have a... We want to have a standard rush like this. When he has the contained rush, you're not going to get the edge threat to light up the way you want to. So here we're going to snap the ball. You see how edge threat lights up. He gets a hard turn around the corner. Um, that's what we're really looking for. That gets edge threat to work. So I didn't contain my lineman. I didn't do anything like that. We'll do it again. Make sure you see how he has the... We don't want to have the contained look. Now, for some reason, the play every now and then will come out and just have that contained look. So you want to make sure you don't have that. We'll snap the ball. He didn't get. He didn't get it there. He did not. There were one for two, really. Let me try this one more time. And I'm just flipping the play back and forth until I can get. Until I can get him to actually get his. There he goes. He gets it again there. Throw the ball away. Let's try this one more time. It really should be pretty consistent. Um, online, I was getting it to work almost every time. Um, I was pretty happy with the, with the results. And. Uh, I want you to try it and see if you can get it because a lot of people are going away from edge threat and it's really a good ability if you can understand how it works. He didn't get it there. So here against the defense, it's working like every, every, every so often. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to contain. So here I got to contain. I snap the ball on offense. You get nothing. Even though he got to the edge, you see how he got the edge rush, but he didn't get the edge rush animation. So I can come down and maybe I can loop my lineman up. So right now we have almost a outside edge rush. You get nothing. We'll try it again both ways. This is just the outside edge rush. Nothing. The X that you see lighting up is under pressure right now. Here's contain. Get the edge, but you don't get anything. So when you're trying to contain a quarterback in the pocket, you can do the contain rush, and he'll get the carry up the field animation, but you're not going to get the edge rush that, you know, if you have that ability and you're spending three AP points, you obviously want to get that. Um, that's the ball here. He doesn't get it. We'll try it one more time with the, with the um, just pinching your lineman down. And if you check out my gameplay, I, I, I run this a lot. And you'll actually see a lot of there's the edge rush. And you see how quick that animation right there is. And a lot of people aren't going to have that running back back there. So that's how good edge threat can be. Um, I don't know what Edge Threat Elite is going to bring when we can start using that in Ultimate Team, 
but currently edge rush really is the best uh it's really the best rushing anim to get the best rushing animations you just have to understand how to get the ability to light up here we don't it seems like in this practice mode we're getting it like every other play so what we're having an understanding of here is how we're going to get to the quarterback if you have this on both sides and you were getting it every other play back and forth hey man you're getting a you're getting a free rusher on the quarterback every single play and it's very hard to get away away from even with escape artists when you have lawrence taylor and ricky jackson um you can have other you can have tg watt you can have a few other rushers but um, all of us pretty much have those kind of guys. I think I'm rushing with Alden Smith and um, Lawrence Taylor, and I have Alden Smith powered up with Dallas Chem. Um, so he's getting a pretty good rush and a pretty good acceleration out of there. But what it's really doing is it's just getting me a four-man front. It's getting pressure, and I can throw a lot of different looks out behind it. I can throw cover three. I can throw cover two. I can throw man. I can throw like a Mabel look. I can do anything because the coverage really has nothing to do with getting these animations and getting this rush. Now, I've had the most success with pinching my line. Pinching my line has given me the most success uh, versus having the outside rush. It just seems like if they get, it, it, the faster that they get engaged, the quicker, the more often the animation will, will click in. The longer it takes to get engaged with the lineman, the less chance that edge threat has. You really want it coming off the ball, so. That's the video for today, guys. Just wanted to explain how Edge Start was working this year and how it's different from last year. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Follow for some more vids. We're going to try to get um, into doing this every day again. Uh, I got my move down, so everything's going good, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.